Hello, St. Luke. Today I'd like to begin our devotional with a question. Do you like to get rid of things or not? Why is that? I think one of the reasons that some of us don't like to get rid of things is because we're afraid. Afraid that we might lose something really important to us. Afraid that we'll forget something, that we'll lose the knowledge of something or that we'll be without something critical when we really need it. As we continue our discussion on freedom this week, I'd like to approach it from the idea of freedom in less. Let me plant this idea in your head. What if the very thing that we're trying to avoid by collecting as much as possible is actually hindering us from being able to actually be free. Let me give you a few examples. When Emily and I were hiking the Appalachian Trail, we carried everything that we needed in our backpack. We had our tent, our shelter, our, bat, our sleeping bag, our water filtration system, all the food that we needed, the few electronics that we had as well. All of it, it was all on our backs. And you could have carried a lot more. You could have brought four days worth of clothes. You could have had a heavier tent or a heavier sleeping bag. But by having more, you were restricted. You had to work harder to get over the tops of the mountains. You had to put more effort into going further each day. And so there was freedom in less. By having less, you could go further easier. You could do more in a day easier as well. There was freedom in less. Or use this bookcase for another example. I'm sitting upstairs in our house and, well, this is the only bookcase that we have in our house. And these are the only books we have here. But besides a few books that I have in my office, only two shelves, this is it. But these books are important to Emily and to I. There's freedom in less. I could have four or five bookcases of books and sure, maybe I could tell you what was in all of them, but likely not. Except instead, I know what all these books are. I've read them all and they're all important to me and to Emily. And I can look at all of these books on the shelf and tell you why they're important to me and how valuable they were and are to me. There's freedom in less. I think that we can use the idea of freedom in less as a lens for how we can approach the law and the freedom that we have in Christ. I don't know about you, when I read the Old Testament, especially the laws that are found in Leviticus, not only do I sometimes find it rather boring, I'm also overwhelmed. It seems as though if someone were to try and actually follow all these laws, they would have no time to do anything else. They would just be observing the law 24-7, and still they'd be failing and falling short. Just like Pastor Ben and Pastor Barry have told us, and even Vicar Brian as well, we're freed from the law. We don't need to worry about all of those commandments that we find because Christ has fulfilled the law for us. Instead, like Pastor Ben and Pastor Barry have said, we're free to serve others. Pastor Ben, in his devotional, referenced Galatians 5. I'd like to read one more verse than the verse that he referenced. Verse 14, for the whole law can be summed up in a single commandment. Namely, you must love your neighbor as yourself, or even as Jesus said, the whole law can, can be summed up into two commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and second, love your neighbor as yourself. See, there's freedom in that. There's freedom in less as well. There's not a list of 350 things you need to do today in order to love your neighbor or to love God. But there's only one thing, to love your neighbor as yourself. And while the Old Testament was very specific about the exact things that you needed to do to fulfill the law, 
you have freedom in Christ. And so now you can go to your neighbor and to love them however they need to be loved. There's freedom in less. Love your neighbor. That's it. So as you go about your weekend this weekend, think about ways in which you can love your neighbor as yourself. Because you don't have to worry about all of those laws that are in the Old Testament anymore. You've been freed because of Christ. And all you have to do is love your neighbor as yourself. A few discussion questions for you today. Are you a person who keeps everything or nothing? And what do you think made you the way that you are in that? Question two, how are you going to love your neighbor as yourself this weekend? Be as specific as you can. God bless your weekend this weekend.